stuck in PowerShell school server. I'm a bit of a PowerShell newbie. So I've created a script that uses the restore school database command let. However, after I run it, it leaves PowerShell in a different state. How can I return PowerShell back to the normal interface? Also, what is the PS school server prefix called? I tried to Google for this and came up empty. From MS Article SQL Server PowerShell A SQL Server provider, which enables a simple navigation mechanism similar to file system paths. You can build paths similar to file system paths, where the drive is associated with a SQL Server management object model, and the nodes are based on the object model classes. You can then use familiar commands such as CD and DIR to navigate the paths similar to the way you navigate folders in a command prompt window. You can use other commands, such as RIN or DEL, to perform actions on the nodes in the path. Having a provider like this loaded allows you to treat the SQL Server the same way you would treat a drive letter. So most likely somewhere in your code you've used CD to move into the SQL Server provider, CD SQL Server column. If you wanted to get back to D column backslash the folder specifically you'd use CD D column backslash the folder. If you want to return to where you started when done, then you'll probably have to store the current directory location into a variable at the start of the script, and then use it with CD at the end of the script to change back to that original directory. Or you could, as suggested by at Alrox in his comment, use the push location and pop location couplets to store and retrieve the current location. This seems to works for me. Simply type C column on command prompt to go back to the usual EG C colon backslash prompt. Just for information, what may have triggered the small prompt, i.e. PS school server, from normal C colon backslash prompt is when you load the small assembly without the out null. Out null suppresses the output returned by the complete. In other words, to avoid going inadvertently into the small prompt when loading the small assembly, simply pipe the out null as below. As Microsoft has deprecated the load with partial name method, use the add type instead. Note, to get path to your assembly slash DLL, use the getAssemblies method as below. Heath Heath <laughs>